The bill is grounded on the unscientific and speculative notion that a person's sex is always determined or predeterminable at birth and that sex is either male or female. While this may be a notion encouraged by some religions, an open-minded gynecologist, medical doctor, or biological scientist knows that a person's gender is not always determined at birth, nor is it necessarily binary by nature. So they're getting into the science of it. They're getting, they're getting into the science of it, isn't it? So as they get into the science of it, they're going to talk, tell us about what the medical science provides. Moses Formoini has a completely different view of this one. But, but here they are. They say uh, that a person's gender is not determined at birth. No, it's not. It's, it's not binary. It's not either male or female. That doctors know, that gynecologists know that. Yeah, that's maybe true. But if it happens of every thousand births, one of them turns out like that. It is the unusual and therefore we have to correct it. To every rule, there's an exception. So it is the unusual. That it is the unusual does not mean that, that we should allow it to fester and, and say that it should be recognized. It's an unusual thing that ought to be corrected. It's, it's unusual, so it has to be corrected. That's how, that's how we deal with it. Unusual things are corrected. You can correct them, can't you? But it is unusual. That's why there's a problem with it. So let's continue looking at it. Okay, so for example, it is a scientific fact that in all societies, there are people born intersex with reproductive or sexual anatomies that do not fit the boxes of female or male. In our respectful view, this fact alone destroys the very foundation upon which this bill is built. Big story, big deal. They are saying that the fact that some people are born intersex and the bill assumes that people are born male or female, then the bill should be defeated. That's Professor Audrey Gachepo. What's Akutuan Paul saying? The bill argues that LGBT activity threatens the homosexual family unit as the foundation of society and that permitting LGBTQ activities to flourish is a threat to society and even the human species. The pro proposers of this far-reaching claim have not provided any data or evidence to suggest that there is such a threat beyond a resort to some dogmatic religious tenets and so-called Ghanaian family values. In our respectful view, any serious discussion of or concern for maintaining Ghanaian family values ought first of all to begin with addressing the rampant issue of pregnancy of young women and teenagers out of wedlock and the... And the abandonment after the act of such young women and teenagers by their male partners. Okay, this is one of the most critical social acts that clearly undermine Ghanaian family values. Another rampant social activity that undermines the family as a unit and family values in Ghana is extramarital relationships. Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's a big one, isn't it? There you go. Extramarital relationships. They say that is more threatening than the gay and homosexual thing that you say threatens uh, uh, the, the, the system. I'll come to that and deal with it. Let me see what they say. I'm conveniently unconcerned about this. I'll come back to this. Okay. It's, it's in this attempt to demolize LGBT. Okay. So let me flick back to the last three. Okay. Now, this is, imp this is interesting. It's important. The bill argues that uh, the homosexual thing threatens family values. Now, why, do, why does the bill say that? The bill says that because if we're going to allow homosexuality, and many people are going to be homosexual, man and man, woman and woman cannot procreate whilst they'll be, they'll be violating the fundamental principle of evolution, if you like. If you say Bible, they fight with you. Let's go to Charles Darwin. Evolution. Fundamental principle of evolution. We have to evolve. We have to procreate. And yeah, we can't procreate, then uh, there is an extinction of the human race. The human race is going to be extinct. So that's the point they are making. Akoto doesn't sufficiently answer that question. I'm sorry. Akoto doesn't sufficiently answer that question. He says here that the bill argues that LGBT activities threaten homo heterosexual family units as the foundation of the society and that permitting LGBT activities to flourish is a threat to society and even the human species. Yes, it is a threat to society and the human species. Akutuapa doesn't say anything beyond that. He doesn't argue that it's not a threat. He seems to concede that it's a threat, but he says there are other threats. So we will look at the other threats he's talking about. But here, whereas he concedes that it's a threat, he doesn't say anything about 
about about the threat about about he doesn't he doesn't debunk that notion sufficiently debunk the notion that lgbt relationship is a threat to the existence of human society the fundamental equation is that a man and man cannot procreate a woman and a woman cannot procreate a man and animal cannot procreate and therefore if you allow lgbtq plus to fester you are beginning to threaten the the, the human the human species that's correct where is the argument against it he says the pro, pro, proposers of this far-reaching claim, he calls the claim a far-reaching one, have not provided any data or evidence to suggest that there is such a threat beyond a resort to some dogmatic religious tenets and so-called Ghanaian family values. They have provided enough data. You don't need much data. All you need to know is that a man and a woman cannot procreate, and a, a man and man cannot procreate, a woman and a woman cannot procreate. If, therefore, this is allowed to fester, the human race is challenged. It's, I think this is very simple. That's the evidence. It's more than sufficient evidence uh, for Akoto to be able to deal with it. But I'm sorry, Akoto doesn't deal with this aspect of the point. Okay, let's move on. Uh, he says, in their respectful view, any serious discussion uh, uh, of the concern for maintaining Ghanaian family values ought, first of all, to begin with addressing the rampant issues of teenage pregnancy and wedlock. And then he comes to the big one. He says, extramarital relationships. And he says, yet the apostles of Ghanaian family values are conveniently unconcerned about these manifest, uh, these manifest realities. Really. Homosexuality extramarital affairs, teenage pregnancy, Akoto Ampao, this one, this one, <laughs> Professor Drigajepo, this one, this one is a difficult one, oh. this is a very big one, homosexuality is going to extend human society because man and man cannot give birth, woman and woman cannot give birth. Okay, you say you don't have any evidence of that, fair enough. Then you are pointing and drawing attention to something else that you think is also a threat to human species. Human species are going to be extinct because of teenage pregnancy. Human species are going to be extinct because of extramarital affairs. I don't know. Man. I don't know. You know. Send, send your text message.